Hey guys, Galaxy today with another Destiny 2 video and this is a couple easy kind of tips to help improve really any player. Um, one is to utilize Zer uh, uh, because for uh, a few um, weeks uh, there's been a few weapons usually around the middle of Zer's legendary weapons uh, that have been um, rotating perks a lot, like I think uh, this week as the time of recording, this one, uh, Survivor's Avatar is like rotating um, perks a lot, which, and because 180's recently got buffed, I'm going to definitely pick up that role, um, because Surplus is a good role and Kill Clip is pretty much turns into a 140. But at 180 RPM, so yeah. Um, but sometimes they do have weird masterworks like impact on a hand cannon when that's for rocket launches and uh, bows. So sometimes that does happen. So utilize the um, you can get like different arm sets from past seasons, get some unique roles um, on weapons like this sidearm that hasn't been around for like seven seasons or something but you can get it at Zer um, you can get um, exotics one for each class with random rolls and one exotic weapon and a chance to roll some um, ones from here, but there's no purpose for me trying to get any of the weapons from the, the uh, exotic Engram because I've already got all of them. So only to possibly get a good roll on any of these, like Stompies, Orpheus Riggs, Wormhask, Celestial Nighthawk, if you're on Hunter, that kind of stuff. And you can get uh, these two, which you used to have missions to get. But sadly, they got rid of them. So, which is utilize tip one: utilize the uh, if you can. Assuming you have the resources to spend slash spare, purchase these if they're better, or than the ones you have, like a blind a uh, blinding grenade launcher. Because I don't personally have a solar one, so I picked that one up too. And the other thing is to um. Utilize something like uh, Dim or Destiny Item Manager. Uh, you can use it in the Steam kind of uh, web browser thing, and it allows you pretty much to drag over weapons uh, mid game or mid activity. So, say if I wanted to um, put this empty vessel that I got, and if I go into my inventory, you can see it's right here, and I can just drag it over into the vault section and now it's in my vault and say if I want to get this Ayesha's Embrace you should see it pop up um, in my inventory um, and there you go it comes right into my inventory assuming that you have at least one sp space empty it'll you can transfer any item in and out armor included and um, it pretty much just works and you can collect stuff from your postmaster like I've got two ascended alloys that overflowed and a solstice package um, but there's some things that you can't do like, um, like you can even transfer ghost shells between your three different characters um, but you can't exactly do, apart from switching around um, weapons and going over to say layouts, like I've saved my PV solar uh, hunter build that I've got here, I've saved that, like I've got a grenade launcher reloader mod with Wither Horde, which is a very good exotic grenade launcher, if you guys stay in, um, 
if you guys have been in the P uh, Barden uh, PVE scene for a little bit, you know, know that with a horde is pretty good. Um, so yeah, for passive DPS on bosses and that. Um, and uh, another um, uh, another tip. This is the third and final tip: is to try and do the exology um, quest if you have not. This is more towards um, newer players slash people that don't haven't um, fully gotten the um, exotics from the uh, obelisk kind of thing in the tower um, I, which if you load into the courtyard landing zone which is where you were spawning here um, it's this golden kind of uh, the exotic archive you can get um, red war exotics forsaken shadow keep beyond light and witch queen exotics if you've got to pick them up at some point throughout the season like I didn't join until the very very late part of um, shadow keep which was year three of destiny 2 so like I pretty much only at the time I could only get with a horde and that was like it during that the final seat like a couple weeks of um shadow keep before it went over to the um next season and you couldn't put get that use that quest anymore so they shoved it in here and I had to do a lot of grinding to get it and I was one quite a step away so it is really annoying but I would would have missed out on Ace of Spades, which is a really good one forty. I Thorn, another one. Is Nagi's Burden, which is a really good PvE sniper rifle. The Infamous Toaster, annoying ass bow, but is actually good. The Monarch and Yotun, respectively. I wouldn't be able to get any of the of these um, exotics here. I love Outbreak Perfected. Um, if you haven't used it, it's really good. It's pretty much a laser beam as a pulse rifle. So pick it up if you haven't. Um, in my opinion, it's the, one of the best pulse rifles you can get apart from Peace of Mind for PV PvP. Same with Duality, it's one of the best shotguns in my opinion apart, um, for the energy slot apart from like Time Lost Found Verdict. And there's like legacy stuff that you could get like Adored, uh, Foul Winters which isn't as good, it's pretty bad but because of all the knives to it. Um, but you can also get past seasonal stuff. Um, Legendary stuff like Null um, Compensator, which is a good uh, void fusion rifle. Um, this rocket launcher, which is fairly good if you don't have um, a solid rocket launcher, it's not that expensive. And Reckless Endangerment, which is a fairly good shotgun for the kinetic slot if you have not picked it, um, got any other kinetic shotgun and you like shotguns. And there's like skins for a bunch of them and like to. Um, uh, weapon ornaments, I mean, but they're pretty much like skins. Um, so, yeah, those are three easy uh, tips for uh, to pretty much utilize to make sure you get be more well, to be more efficient in Destiny, especially with um, Dim. Uh, sometimes you do have to wait for um, it sometimes, but this definitely helps a lot, um, especially in PvE, because you can go, oh, I've got to equip a 
this arc sniper rifle. Let me drag this moon one over to my hunter, which I'm currently on. Now I can go and equip it and etc. So it is really helpful. So, so if you guys did enjoy this, please leave a thumbs up, sub if you haven't, because there's more content on Destiny and Hypixel, um, or well, Minecraft, um, mainly on Hypixel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.